guys. So today's video is going to be another elf. I have done like two major elf hauls on my channel before this video I will link them down below if you haven't seen them But every time elf is like 50% off on their website I go on the website and I buy a bunch of things So this is my third one I picked up a couple of things that I really wanted to try And honestly I think this one is going to be like my last big elf haul Because I'm going to try out these products a little bit more And then um, in a couple of weeks I'm going to do like the best elf makeup I feel like I have tried so many e.l.f. products that I know which ones are really, really good and definite must-haves. So I'm going to do a whole like best of e.l.f. video and that should be coming up in the next few weeks after I try these guys out a little bit more. I did use a bunch of these products today on my face. I'm kind of going to give you mini reviews also in a way since I did like first impressions on them. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so I picked up um, three more of the e.l.f smudge pots I love these I have like three of them already I think they are great like cream eyeshadows they last all day on me as long as I put a primer underneath them I put these right on top and they last a good amount of time they're really really creamy and they are a dollar each so it's a literally a steal it's really good I haven't used these yet so I don't know what they look like swatched on the website it could be a little bit deceiving so this one is pop and party and it's just a purple color it's a nice deep eggplant purple this one is called back to basics and it's a nice soft gold color has a little bit of copper to it like a really pretty warm everyday gold shade and you guys know I love colors like this very very creamy and pigmented and then this one is called cruising chic and it is a more shimmery taupe shade. Has a little bit of gold, but it's definitely more on the taupey side. This is perfect for like every single day, just to throw like a cream eyeshadow all over your lid. It's that perfect everyday shade, so I'm really excited for that one. I got two more of their cream eyeliners. I have like a bronze colored one that I use on my waterline and I use it as an eyeshadow base as well. I like these because they're good enough to wear as like, you know, a cream eyeliner or an eyeshadow base in your waterline. You know, it's multi-purpose. They're not like the best for like gel eyeliner like the Maybelline, Maybelline Eye Studio one is, but they're really good and they're only $3. So I got this one in punk purple just to have like a fun purple eyeliner look one day. And honestly, it's not as pigmented or as creamy. I mean, it's creamy, but it's not as like opaque. That's the word. It's not opaque as I, as I thought it would be. So I probably won't use it as like a gel eyeliner. I will most likely use this one as like a cream eyeshadow like underneath my makeup, underneath my eye makeup. And then I got this one in metallic olive. And this one is really, really gorgeous. It's that perfect forest green. This one is opaque enough to be a really cool gel eyeliner look. It's dark, but it does have like that green to it. I think it's really, really nice, that dark, dark foresty green. So I got this, and I have to be honest, I don't have any of the e.l.f. Studio blushes just because I don't think they are the best. They're a little bit chalky and powdery. Um, I know a lot of people really love them, but they're not my absolute favorite stuff from e.l.f. But I wanted to get this one because I've heard it's a dupe for NARS's Albatross highlighter, which I actually don't like. I don't like Albatross. It's a little bit too chunky and glittery for me. But I do like the gold reflect that that gives. So I thought that this could work out for me. This is the Studio Blush in the shade Gotta Glow. And it just looks like a basic, like, white yellow kind of highlight and when you swatch it it is a little bit powdery but when you like move your hand around in the light you get that really pretty gold reflex so I'm hoping it works for me and it looks nice on the cheeks just like a cheaper alternative to albatross since I would never pay that much for albatross so yeah I hope I like it it's a little powdery but I hope it's good Okay, so I picked up two things that completely blew me out of the water, guys. This is probably the most impressed I've ever been by e.l.f. in my entire life. And it is their um, Prism eyeshadow palettes. I picked up two of them. I got the one in Naked and the one in Sunset. I think they have either three or four. And definitely after trying this, I'm going to buy the other ones. These are amazing I cannot I cannot believe that they are this good these are $10 each which 
I always looked past them when I was on the e.l.f. website because I would always be like, ooh, $10 for a palette from e.l.f. That's too much for e.l.f., you know? Like, the cheap person inside of me was like, that's way too much for e.l.f. But I would pay triple the amount of money for these. I know that seems crazy. I would pay $30 each for these. They are incredible. I like Naked a little bit more than Sunset. Um, I feel like the pigmentation is just a tiny bit better on the Naked one. Guys. Guys. When you open it, it has a mirror and it has six eyeshadows. These are all very neutral. The only thing is that they are all like a metallic sheeny finish. None of them are matte. I don't care. The pigmentation is so incredible that I don't care. I actually have this all over my lid today. I have this color all over my lid, and then I have this dark chocolatey color on my lower lash line and on the outer V right here, and then I have this color as my highlight. If you can get your hand on anything from e.l.f., it's this Naked Prism eyeshadow palette. There are no glitter, no chunks, no fallout, just foiled metallic goodness. And these have really fun colors. Um, like pinks and golds and purples, really, really pretty for the summertime. This one, I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it, like in the spring and summer. I cannot recommend these enough. I'm gonna buy the other ones because, or the other one or other ones. I don't know if they're four or three. I hope they're four because I like them. So I picked up um, two of the mineral blushes. These are just the two that I was missing. I already have two of these. And I loved them so much that I decided to pick up the other two that I didn't have. I have this one right here in the shade. Wanderlust, it's the blush that I'm wearing on my cheeks right now. It is, I used a really light hand with it though. It's just like a mauve deep, plummy shade. I used a really light hand, like I said. I love these blushes, they're really pigmented. They last a good time on my cheeks and I really like them, they're good. So I got Wanderlust and then I got this one called Jet Setter, which looks like this, which honestly, looking at them both, I didn't need both of them. So that's just a tip for me to you that if you're gonna get the mineral blushes, Wanderlust and Jet Setter look freaking the same in the pan. Jet Setter is just a little bit lighter. But they're really good quality, they're really pretty, um, and I'm gonna go ahead and send one of these to my friend at Young Wild and Polish. Here you go, Nicole, this is coming your way. So I picked up um, a couple of brushes. I love e.l.f. brushes and you guys know this. And I love all the ones I picked up except for one of them. I got the eyeshadow brush from their regular essential line, their $1 line, because everybody loves it and everybody raves about it. I've had like bad luck with their essential brushes. They shed a lot on me. But everybody loves this one and I, this is actually the one that I've never tried. So it's just your basic, typical like flat shader brush. And then I got this one and this is the one that I don't like. Um, I got the blush brush and the only reason I don't like it is because I feel like it's just a little bit too small for blush. I like bigger brushes to apply my... Okay, calm down here. Calm down. I like bigger brushes to apply my blush. I don't know. I feel like this is too small, but I mean, I could use it for a highlight. Now that I look at it. It's probably a good little highlight. It is a paddle type of brush. And then I got this one. This is the Mineral Powder Brush. Um, and I really like it because... I don't know, I feel like mine is tapered. Like, can you see it? Even though the barrel isn't tapered, I feel like this came tapered. And it's fluffy to where this would be really good for contouring. So, I got that brush. And then I just picked up these eyeshadow applicators. The sponge tip applicators. And the reason why I picked this up is because I heard Lolly Dolly 128 or Dana. She changed it to Dana. She said that these are really good to use on your ColourPop eyeshadows. And I was like, mmm, I was very intrigued after she said that. So I just picked up this because if they're, she said they were better than your fingers with ColourPop eyeshadows. And that's crazy because they apply amazing with your fingers. So I'm excited. I'm excited. I got two of their pressed mineral bronzers. These are fairly new and they have four of them, but I picked up two of them. I picked up this one in tan toffee, which is a matte color, a little bit on the warmer side. Let me show you. See, it's a little bit more on the like orangey warmer side, but that is the bronzer I'm using today. I contoured with it, and I really like it. I usually go for like ashier bronzers to contour with, but I thought it gave like a healthy glow. It's matte, and it's really, really pretty. It's more pigmented than the baked ones. I really love their baked bronzers, but this one is even more pigmented. Um, I really like it. So I got that, and then I got this one in beach, beach bronze. This one is pigmented. This one is holy crap. 
great for really dark skin. I'm still gonna make it work because I love bronzer. It's probably my favorite makeup product. I have like a billion bronzers, like it's ridiculous. But this is what this one looks like, and this one actually isn't matte. This one has a bit of a sheen to it, and I love this one. Even though it's like really dark, I like this one just a little bit more than this one because it's like, I don't know, I guess the sheen in it just makes it look so pretty and glowy. I got one more of their long lasting lustrous eyeshadows. I have two of them that I am crazy over. And I got this one in the shade Gala, Gala, excuse me, Gala. And these are just really pretty moussey kind of eyeshadows, like creamy. They're not cream eyeshadows, they're more like on the moussey side. Um, I do prefer the ColourPop eyeshadows more than this. I think they're better, but you know, I still really like them. Okay, so more bronzer. Um, not necessary, but for my Best of Elf video, I really want to try out a lot of Elf stuff, so that's why I did. Um, I got the Elf bronzers in Cool Bronzer, and then I got Golden Bronzer. Now, this one in Cool Bronzer, this is what it looks like. And mine is a little bit dirty here because I pretty much swirled the whole brush in it just to swatch it. I haven't tried this on my cheeks, but I mean this one is okay. It's a little bit more on the cooler side, but it has a little bit of red to it though. It's alright. It's not my favorite. The texture isn't my favorite. I don't know. It's okay. I actually have like this right here as my crease color. Like I have it dusted in my crease since it's matte. It's nice, it's all right. I'm gonna play with it a little bit more and maybe I'll like it because I haven't used it on my face yet. Just watching it, I was like, mm, I don't know if I'm gonna like this. But this, I'm obsessed with. This is the Golden Bronzer and I love it so much. This is what it looks like and this is the highlight I have on my face right now. It is so pretty, it gives you such a beautiful golden glow. If you're very, very fair, um, I would suggest just dipping your brush into this one right here because it is so pretty, it's, it's so pretty. I like it all blended together, but oh. Um, and then I got this, this is the lip exfoliator and I've always wanted to try this but never got around to trying it and I did use it yesterday for the first time and I really like it. The first time you use it, um, it still kind of feels like a chapstick, like the exfoliators aren't out yet. I don't know how to explain it. I love the scent. It has like a really nice coffee vanilla scent. It feels nice and moisturizing on the lips. It, exfoli it exfoliates well. Um, I'm digging this. I really am. And then the last thing I got is this baked blush in Pink Tastic. Um, I really wanted this because it's... A highlight it's not a blush it's a highlight you guys know I'm crazy about highlights like I cannot get enough of them but I got it because it's like a pinky highlight and I love elf baked products so I thought hey let me add one more highlight to my collection because can't get enough of these little elf baked products so it's really really pretty okay guys so that was everything I got in my big elf haul I really hope you enjoyed this video stay tuned for the upcoming weeks because I will be doing a best of elf thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video bye oh no oh no my phone oh no hey guys so today's video is going to be I've got each the elf is 50% off so I oh it's getting dark what is happening no 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 son return return please which jet setter ow I just scraped it hey guys so today's video is going weird right Celine that was so strange Andy tonight's first round with the star who last week found his mojo in a sweat lock so this one is ah, ah.